Dark Table versus Raw Therapy. Dark Table and Raw Therapy are two open source raw editors. I've spent some time editing a bunch of images in both, and I'll tell you the five most important differences between the two. Which one should you use? Difference number one, image preview, sharp versus soft. The most important difference, in my opinion, is the way Darktable and Raw Therapy display the image when you're editing it. With Darktable, the image is displayed close to the way it will look when it's exported. Unfortunately, with Raw Therapy, the preview image when editing is quite soft. That's because Raw Therapy uses a fast tile interpolation algorithm, and hence, you won't really be able to see all the effects of editing unless you zoom in to 100%. Although Raw Therapy does have a one-to-one -one zoom tool to help you out, I found that this low-quality preview is quite difficult to work with. This is especially true because many of the edits you do, such as sharpening, microcontrast, and noise reduction, will not be visible at all unless you are at 100% magnification. While this makes Raw Therapy a bit faster, it makes it very hard to work with images. In particular, it's hard to choose the right level of sharpening and noise reduction when you can't even view the effect on the image at the size at which it will be viewed. When it comes to viewing the effects of your edit, Darktable is simply much better. Difference number two, masks. Darktable has full local editing, whereas Raw Therapy has only a limited local editing system. It's true that both Darktable and Raw Therapy can do local edits. However, Raw Therapy's local editing is limited to applying a basic mask of a fixed shape, and you can only use some of the adjustments within the mask. Darktable, on the other hand, has a fully functioning local masking system that works with every module. In Darktable, you can draw a variety of masks or even apply parametric masking, which involves selecting an area of your image by color, luminosity, or other values. Darktable's masking features are very advanced even when compared to paid software like Adobe Lightroom. By the way, if you want to learn the basics of Darktable, including how to use masks, check out our Udemy course linked in the comments. Difference number three, speed. Raw therapy is faster, but comes with some compromises. If there's one area where raw therapy shines, it's speed. It's faster than Darktable in both editing and exporting. However, this does come with a few compromises, as I already mentioned, such as low quality previews. Difference number four, user interface. Darktable and raw therapy have very different user interfaces. Darktable has a fairly organized list of modules, with each module doing a specific task, and each module has a very similar user interface. Raw Therapy is a bit more disorganized. For example, Exposure in Raw Therapy is not a module that you can turn on and off, and many of the modules have a large number of seemingly random options that don't make much sense. For example, just look at this collection of random options in the lab adjustments area. Hmm. The overall editing interface of Raw Therapy just looks cluttered and is confusing to use. The overall sequence of editing actions on the right side panel seem to be in a random order, and unlike Darktable, you cannot reorganize them in multiple panels to your preference, although you can create a single panel of your favorite editing tools. Difference number five, different editing tools. Raw Therapy and Darktable have quite a few different and unique features. Let's talk about cropping. Cropping in Darktable works as expected, but in Raw Therapy, it's a little tricky to adjust the cropping window. Also, by default, the cropping does not hide the cropped out area. You need to click on some different buttons to hide it, which is kind of weird. Raw Therapy does have some cool tools that Darktable does not. For example, it has dark frame subtraction for astrophotography and an intuitive before and after comparison feature. It also can work with pixel shift files from some cameras such as Pentax cameras, whereas Darktable cannot. Raw Therapy has a very good metadata editor, whereas editing metadata in Darktable is a bit basic. Darktable, on the other hand, has some effects that Raw Therapy does not, such as film grain. Technically, there is a sort of noise feature in Raw Therapy, but the results are questionable. Darktable also has got some important features that Raw Therapy does not, such as watermarking, framing, and lens blur. Darktable also has many more color effects modules, such as split toning, colorize, low light vision, RGB primaries, and the very powerful color lookup table. Overall, Darktable is definitely more powerful and has more useful tools, so you can really be creative in your editing. Conclusion Both Darktable and Raw Therapy can do the basics of raw editing. Although Raw Therapy is a bit faster than Darktable, and it does have a few specialized features that Darktable does not. Overall, Darktable is more complete, more organized, more intuitive, and better overall for advanced post-processing.
As a professional photographer, I feel comfortable in recommending Darktable for any sort of photography. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again next time.